Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike Graves, and in today's episode of What's New at Sophos, we have some July updates to talk about. First up is tamper protection is now available inside the account health check. So you'll be able to see if you've got tamper protection turned on uh, or if it's turned off anywhere throughout the estate. Uh, as a subset to that, uh, we actually have filters now in your devices view so that you can filter on any systems that do not have tamper protection on. And further to that, once you've selected the, the systems that don't have tamper protection on, you can actually go ahead and enable it in bulk. That's pretty exciting. Uh, next is that machine learning is now enabled by default. So if you were to create a new policy, that's going to automatically be turned on for you if you take all of our defaults. The third is uh, reset health status is now available on the device list page. This is something that we added a few months back where if you have a stuck endpoint that's in a poor health state, uh, but perhaps the uh, situation uh, that, that caused that poor health state was from 90 days or more ago, and you couldn't clear this, the state without uninstalling and reinstalling, we added the ability to reset that health status. Now that's available in your devices page, so you can actually do that in bulk as well. And then lastly, um, assigned products have been added to the device page. So this means that you can now a la carte start adding those, those different um, products uh, right from the device page. And as sort of a subset to that, if you are, let's say, an InterceptX Advanced customer and you're trialing XDR, uh, previously it would automatically deploy those XDR features to all endpoints and servers in your state. Now we're making that more of a manual procedure. So you can go in and decide which endpoints are going to receive uh, those components. So actually, let's jump into the console and we'll take a look at some of this stuff in real time. Okay, guys, up first is tamper protection inside the account health check dashboard. So you'll notice this new section here called tamper protection. First and foremost, you can see the status of your global tamper protection. And that should always be turned on unless support tells you to turn it off temporarily. And then you can see for endpoints and servers, how many of your endpoints and servers actually have tamper protection turned off. A nice little thing here is if you actually click on this link, it's going to bring you to the devices page and it's already going to turn on that new filter which you can see right here from the drop down computers with tamper off and now let's say I wanted to turn tamper protection on for all of these devices or a subset of these devices I can select the ones I'm interested in or all of them and now I have an option up here for turning on tamper protection across all of those systems so while we're in the devices view here, if we select all of our devices, you can see we have now this reset health status option. And previously, uh, we had added that over to the endpoint page under more actions. You can see this reset health status here. And now you can just do it in bulk if you need to. While we're over here, you can see that individual components are directly assignable and if they have any uh, prerequisites, there'll be a little pop-up telling you so. Let's see if we can find a device here that would give us a good example of this. So here on this device, we've only got endpoint protection installed uh, and device encryption, of course. Um, but we do not have uh, InterceptX and we do not have XDR. So you can see if I hover over InterceptX, I can just click that link to deploy that feature. But if I go and try to hover over XDR, now it's asking me, um, it, it's telling me that I have to uh, also assign InterceptX or that it will do so for me automatically. Okay guys, that's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.